Hello everybody. Welcome to my this tutorial where I will teach you a new technique. This will help you in getting the result as we have assumed here. So by selecting a single date, I can have all the dates of that particular month. If I change the date again, I will get all the dates of that particular month. So I am getting March over here. So let's see how to achieve this result. Let's begin. First, we have to create one disconnected date column i mean a date table so first let's go to the modeling window in a table option i click simple new table so we will use values function and simple the date column from our data from our table so this is going to give me the distinct values of all the date fields in my orders table this will not be having any relationship with the orders table now if i take you the relationship window you will see that there is no relationship exists and we need this to achieve our result so first of all we have to create we need to create a measure that is going to help us to achieve our result so let's go new measure you can name it you can name it anything that you want I'll take it relevant date two variables first start date of month now in order to achieve the start date of the month we will use end of month EO month function so here we will take uh, date from our disconnected date column so first we will write max and then date so I am taking date from a disconnected date table so as this is going to be the start so I will take minus one and then simply add one now we need end date of month so I will just copy this function and little bit of trick to this function will give me the end date of the month I will take simply a zero and remove the last part now return so here comes our final function the calculate we will take sum of sales now filter function then orders so we will be comparing our start date and end date of the month against the date from the orders table so date from orders table is my date from the orders table is is less than or equal to end date of the month and my date from orders table should also be greater than and equal to start of the month so this is the complete function that is going to help us in achieving the result so we will be using two portion in our canvas first the filter part so in the filter part i'll take the date from our disconnected table we'll take list and now i'll create a column chart here we will be using access order date from the orders table and the sales figure we will be using the relevant date measure so whenever i select any date i'll get the result accordingly meaning if i select any date it is going to give me the dates of all the dates from that particular month so i have selected 6 feb so it is giving me all the dates from feb month i'll take you to the next uh, yes i'll take it this figure also this is september so it is giving me all the dates from september month irrespective of the date whatever i'll select it is giving me dates according to my selection according to the month that i have selected so see i am getting august let me uh, change the axis from continuous to categorical so see i am getting all the date fields now 
from starting start of the month to end of the month so now we have achieved our result thanks for joining in have a nice day ahead